welcome back to my YouTube channel and to this week's video. It is officially August now, which means that in real time, Sam and I have probably had our baby, which is very, very exciting. Obviously, I am pre-recording this video because I was not planning on recording any videos right around my due date so that whenever she does come, I had some time like a maternity leave from YouTube, but I was still getting content out. This is obviously pre-recorded a little early, but if you want to go see if baby is here, which she really probably is, and um, see what her name is, see what she looks like, see all the excitement of having a new baby, I guess, <laughs> new parents, um, then head over to my Instagram because I will update you current time there for sure in my stories and, and everything. And so, yeah. So go to my Instagram if you want to see baby girl if she's here. Um, my Instagram handle is at Kylie Norlander. Yeah, I'm very excited. It's a very exciting time of our lives. And I can't believe we're here. I can't believe. But it's summer and my baby girl is well, at this point in time, almost here at the time that this video is out here, but most likely, I don't know exactly which day this video comes out, but most likely here. <laughs> and anyways, but yeah, just like to let you know if you want to keep updated current time, because right now my videos for this little time frame are pre-recorded. If you want to stay up to current time, seeing what's going on, then definitely head over to my Instagram where that is real time and not pre-recorded stuff, obviously. Diving into today's video, thank you so much for being here first off and for supporting me and my YouTube. Today's video is a continuation of the self journey and it's specifically focused on getting out of a slump. Me personally, and I know a lot of people do deal with this too, but I personally find myself getting in a slump or feeling like I've can't get myself to do the things that I need to do because I just have no motivation or no desire and I just call that time a slump. It's typically for me it is almost always after I've done a whole bunch like had a go 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 week or month or well I don't know yeah just like where I've done a lot in a short amount of time and I really haven't given myself a lot of breaks or I've just tried to push myself past what I should and then I notice that I go into a slump of oh I just want to lay in bed all day and watch tv I don't want to do my to-do list I don't want to do my tasks I don't want to work or focus on all the things that have to happen in my life, I just want to relax in my bed and not get out of bed, right? That's kind of like what happens. So I had one of these days recently and I thought about it while I was having the day and I was like, you know what? There's a lot of things you can do to help get yourself out of a slump because I've noticed with myself a pattern, a pattern of the choices I make when I'm feeling in a slump determine how long that slump lasts and so it's like I make choices to help myself just like get through it and get the rest and relaxation that I need in order to get out of the slump and in order to keep going with what I've got to do whereas if I don't do these things that I should be doing to help myself then that slump lasts for days and then it just makes me feel worse. And so I thought I'd share with you guys my tips to getting out of a slump. First of all, my slump day I had a little bit ago. The week before was so busy, full of travel and like each day while we were out traveling was a go, go, go day. And then when we came back to our home, I tried to just jump right back in and go, go, go. 
and I have so many things on my to-do list of getting my of preparing for baby to get here and so I really just tried to get going with it and just make things happen as quickly as I could right and just keep with my schedule and catch up with the things I didn't do while we were traveling and so I ended up overloading myself, overwhelming myself, and I really can't do that, especially these days. I need the rest and I need the breaks and the relaxation and the self-care. And so when I pushed myself too much, then I woke up one morning and I had zero motivation. I had zero desire to do anything. And I really just ended up spending the entire day, like I said, in bed, watching shows, relaxing and doing absolutely nothing on my list. Most of my slumps go that way, right? But that day was a little different for me because of the way I went about it. I decided for myself, I thought to myself, well, I'm feeling this way for a reason. My body and my brain are trying to tell me that they need a break. And so I looked at that day as a rest day so that I could keep up with my schedule and with my to-dos the following days, rather than looking at it as a day that I failed. And that is a big thing for me. I think that is key to getting out of a slump, is the way you look at it. So I really did. I viewed that day as a, as a day that I was just getting my energy back. I was relaxing and resting and recovering, and I was giving my brain and my body a break. And then I would get back into things the next day after giving myself this break. And when I decided that, that day become, became all of a sudden like this beautiful day for me. Rather than me laying in bed feeling guilty that I wasn't doing things, um, instead I really just felt so happy with myself that I was relaxing and that I was giving myself this time that I needed. And it, be, and it turned around from a slump day to a self-care day or to a recovery day for me. That's like the biggest reason why I decided I want to talk about this because I, I just the things I chose to do that day really did change my mindset and my perspective of things and then it changed how I was feeling and actually helped me to turn that week around from being a week of struggling to keep up with tasks to being a week of actually keeping up with my schedule and getting things done and feeling really proud of myself. So now that I've shared with you guys my slump day, I want to share five tips that I came up with to help you get out of a slump. The first tip, make a task list. A list of all your to-dos. This is something I decided to share first because if you have, if, if you don't have the luxury of being able to just take a rest day when you need a rest day, like you still have to go to work, you still have to go to school, you don't really get to just rest when you want to rest, then that slump day is especially hard for you because you're feeling like you need the break, but you're not not able to give yourself the break that you need. And so a big thing that I've noticed that really helps me when I'm in situations like that and I have these slump days come up that I really need a break is to actually make the list and not make it a huge list of every single thing I need to do or every single detail of my day, but making it as simple as I possibly can of a list and filling it out according to priority. So like top priority is at the top of the list and then the bottom priority is at the bottom of the list and anything that I can take off of the list for the day that I can just move away to another day, I do. Because for me, when I have slump days, if I see this big long list of so many tasks I have to get done that day, I am not going to do it. Like I genuinely cannot get myself to have the energy and the motivation I need to get the stuff done if my list is bigger than my brain can handle. And so that's something I've really learned for myself that when you're making a task list, you really need to make it focus on the best things for you and how you can narrow it down 
prioritize, and make it as simple as possible. My next tip goes right in with my first tip. I've already kind of talked about it, and that is to divvy it up, divide up your tasks. Don't overwhelm yourself and try to stick to one to two major tasks for that day or a day. So this is not only within your slump day itself. Like I talked about with your slump day of how you can divide it up and, and narrow it down, right? But now I'm gonna talk about your whole life, like your whole week, your whole schedule, and and how you can maybe ease slump, future slump days or a, avoid future slump days by doing less within each day. We tend to overload ourselves. A lot of the times we give ourselves a list or a, like priorities of all these things we have to do. And we just kind of put it on the list and then whatever we get done that day, we get done, we can mark it off the list, but then there's still this long list of all the things we didn't do that day. And that's actually really frustrating. And it's mentally draining to see that big list of bunches of, of a bunch of things you didn't get done that day. And so for me, a big, big thing I love to do and that I think is so good to do, especially if you're experiencing a lot of slump days, is to really divide that list out. Is to look at your list and say, okay, these are the things I'm, I have to get done. I'm going to now divide it out throughout the entire week so that instead of every day looking at this big long list of to-dos that you didn't get done yesterday, so you now have to move it over to today, each day you look at a list of like four things that that you need to do. And then you do your best to mark off those four things within that list of that day. And then at the end of the day, you feel accomplished because your entire list of four things was complete rather than staring at your list of 20 things that you only completed four things out of the 20 that you just need to move over to the next day. It's such a big thing to not overload yourself with more than you can handle and to show yourself a little mercy and when it comes to deciding what you need to get done and how soon to really not overload yourself with too much. It's so important and so that's a big thing I wanted to add here is to divide it out. Divide out your list throughout your week so that way you avoid the frustrating and depressing daily repetition of having this big long list of to-dos and only getting done four things and then having to move the big long list to the next day. It's so draining to do that and it's so much better to instead just start your day with the four to-dos and not worry about anything else. The third tip I have, it is make sure to do something for you. Whether that's something fun, it's something relaxing, it's something just self-care focused, or it's something with a loved one. Like, make sure you add into your day, each day, something for you specifically that you look forward to. That way, you're not looking at this list of to-dos and going and just feeling down or stressed and overwhelmed because you don't want to do any of it none of it is exciting for you but you have to do it for myself it is such a big lift in my mood or in my day and in my energy and motivation if i have something to look forward to that day whether that's a date night with my husband or whether it's taking a bath at the end of the day for some self-care, whether it's going on a walk with a friend, whatever sounds like something you would enjoy that you want to be in your schedule for the day, make that on the schedule for the day. Make time for you and make time for the things that bring you joy in your life. Number four is for... <laughs> Number four is specifically towards if you're finding yourself in a slump for a long period of time or if you're finding yourself in slumps often, like 
every week or every other day or <laughs> you know what I mean or if you're you feel like you've been in a slump since May <laughs> and it's August right like this tip is to help cure all slumps rather than just the slump you're in right now that is to evaluate your priorities and your life figure out why you're in a slump a lot of the time I think when we as humans get in a slump um, for a longer period of time or feel like it's happening multiple times a week and it's just hard and you just feel drained all the time it's because you're pushing yourself too much and you're getting burnt out you're not able to keep up with all the things you're trying to force yourself and push yourself to do each day and that's really hard it's really hard to do and so of course when your brain when your mind and your body are like i can't take it anymore i need i need something new i need a fresh start i need less then yes you're going to feel like you're getting into a slump all the time or like you've been in a slump for a long time and if that's you then it's time to cure it it's time to really figure out the root of the issue and figure out why why you're feeling this way because life is not fun when you're living like that and you don't deserve to live like that like you deserve so much better than feeling down about your life every day number four is evaluate your priorities and your life so that you can figure out how to get out of the slump so you can figure out what the slump is really evaluate your life evaluate yourself and decide and and learn and see really see open your mind up and see what is making you so unhappy what is putting you in these slumps constantly what is keeping you in these slumps and find your way out of it I can't really tell you exactly what to do to find your way out of it because each person's situation is different but it starts with figuring out the root of the problem it starts with figuring out what's making you unhappy and then you can take steps from there to decide what you need to do to turn it around now number five the last one I have is has to do with my slump day that I talked about in the beginning and that is to take a day off this jumps back to if you're trying to cure the current slump you're in and that whether that's just like you feel like you're just in a slump lately and you just need some way to get out of it or you feel like you've got a slump coming on or you've been in a slump for a while just whatever it is take a day off take a break from life from the to do's of life and do nothing then you can get going again for me when I have this slump day and I turned it around and decided this isn't a slump day this is a rest and recover day because the reason I was going into a slump was because I was pushing myself too much then when I turned that day around and decided this is a rest day I did the same thing I would have done with a slump day but my attitude and mindset towards that day was so different that instead of feeling groggy and like a failure at the end of the day or even the next day I felt rested I felt happy and I felt energized and then when the next day came I felt ready and was able to get going again with my life and like do the things that I wanted and needed to do and it was so good for me so really the outlook you have on a day that you're feeling really like down or like you just need a break if you take that break and you allow yourself to mentally let go of all that needs to get done of all your to do's and the things in life that are making you feel that way or making you have this slump then your mindset will shift and your attitude will shift and you will be able to really get the rest that you need and feel rejuvenated rather than continue to feel guilty or bad about the fact that you didn't do the tasks that you had planned to do that day or that you need to get done there's so many things to getting out of slump right 
but you really just have to focus on on yourself, on your situation, and on <laughs> why you're in that slump and how you can get, a, get out of it. And really, ultimately, I believe a lot of our slumps, well, I, I believe all of our slumps are our mind and our body's way of telling us that something's not right or we are unhappy in some way. And so it's important to listen, to recognize when you're feeling down or when you're feeling like you just really don't want to do what you need to do or you just can't keep going. That's when you've got to look at your life and figure out why. Figure out what's wrong, what's going on, and and how to change it. If you are in a slump right now and that's why you're watching this video, I really, really hope it helps you. I really hope you do what you need to do to get out of the slump, that you are willing to take the steps necessary to change your life around and make it happier. To everyone who's watched this video, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you on your slump days. Or, or your slump weeks or months or whatever it is. And I hope that you are living a happy life, that you are so happy with yourself, with your life, and that if you're not, that you will do what you should do to make, make it better. Thank you for watching this video and for being here. Thank you for supporting my channel. Again, if you want to see current times, see baby girl, um, go follow or Go check out my Instagram at Kylie Norlander, which is where I will be sharing everything current time. And do not worry, I will have videos coming out all about baby girl. And she will be in she will be in lots and we will share all the fun stuff. So yeah. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. Bye!